Welcome to a tutorial video on platformer basics for Unity 2D. In this video, I'm going to build on the last video and talk about tile map layers. In the previous, videos, in the previous video, we created a tile map. We imported a sprite sheet. We changed its sprite mode from single to multiple. Then we used the sprite editor to slice those. We created a tile palette, and then we drew using those tiles on our tile map, which we can see in our scene view over here on the left hand side. In this video, we're going to expand this by adding another tile map and then changing the sorting layers to decide how they're going to be drawn. So to start, I'm going to change the name of the tile map created in the previous video from tile map to ground. Now that we have this, I'm going to create a new tile map. I'm going to create in the hierarchy view 2D object tile map. This added a tile map to the existing grid. This tile map I'm going to rename and call this sky. So we now have ground and sky which are two different tile maps under the same grid parent. Now that I have sky I want to add tiles to this. Again just like it was covered in the last video to add tiles to a tile map, we use a tile palette. We can access that functionality by going to Window, 2D, Tile Palette. Notice by default the active tile map is ground. Now that I have another tile map in this project, I can switch to that by clicking Sky. And notice in the hierarchy view, it highlighted it for me to let me know that's what I was doing. So now I want to draw a background, a sky for this platformer. So I've selected the new tile I want to use. I'm using the same palette we created in the previous project, but now my active tile map is sky instead of ground. So now I want to draw and I'll fill in some sky on top of our previous blank background. I can also do this. And it appears as if I've drawn on top of that other tile map. I haven't in fact, but this is a problem we need to now go solve. So I've drawn on this tile map, I've added a sky background to this. I now close this tile map. Well, now our sky is on top of our ground, and that's not what we want to happen. We can solve this by using sorting layers. When we're doing 2D in Unity, we need to think of things as drawing on different layers. So we could have, for example, our player in front, a background in the middle, and then a foreground or a sky or something in the farther back. We solve that by thinking of things as sorting layers, the layer in which they're drawn into dimensions. So right now our sky is in front and that's not what we want. So we can change that by under tile map renderer going to sorting layer. Right now everything's set to default which is not what we want because then everything would be, would be stacked on top of each other. So let's add a sorting layer. So we're going to add a new layer and we're going to call this sky. We're going to add a new layer and call this ground. These are matching our names, so our layers match the game objects in which they should be found. Well, this is what we want. We want it drawn from back to front, the default, the sky, and then the ground closest to us. So now we come back over here in the hierarchy view, change ground under a tile map renderer sorting layer to ground, change our sky over here in the sorting layer to sky. So now we have the sorting layers created correctly. We have two tile maps, ground and sky, drawn in order of sky and ground. And now we can do one more step that will help us in the next video. For our ground, over here in the inspector view, I'm going to add component, tile map, tile map collider 2D. 
In the next video, we're going to talk a little bit more about physics, but that helps us now. And was the reason we created two different tile maps? We didn't want to cloud with our sky, that would be kind of ridiculous. So now we have a tile map that's ground that we can collide with, and a tile map sky that has a background for us, but is not one we collide with. So to review in this video, we created a new tile map by going to Create 2D Object Tile Map. It was added to our existing grid parent. We then renamed each tile map Ground and Sky. When we drew on Sky using our tile palette, we realized a problem. They were drawing on top of each other. We saw this by changing the sorting layers. And the sorting layers were accessed through the sorting layer option within the tile map renderer. We added new sorting layers, sky and ground, in the order back to front we wanted them to be drawn in. And then we sorted them by changing their sorting layer to those appropriate to those game objects, ground and sky. So now our sky is drawn in the background, our ground is drawn in the foreground, and then we did one more final thing in this video. We added a tile map collider to our ground because we want to collide with the ground, but we did not want to collide with the sky. And so now we have two different tile maps, one with a tile map 2D collider and one without, both of which now are drawn in the right sorting layers. And now we're prepared to move on to the next video. Thanks for watching.